Hey, Mike from BlindsOnline.com, and I'm going to show you how to install a 3 8 inch single cell uh, blackout shade today. All right, and when you receive your shade and take it out of the box, it's going to look a little something like this. We'll have the cord wrapped around the shade, so of course the first thing we'd like you to do is unravel that cord from the shade. Okay, and once you have that cord unraveled, just take a peek at the new shade, okay, and this particular shade happens to be uh, the color Beechwood, our 3 8 inch blackout in color Beechwood, and it's a single cell shade, and if you notice, um, the interior part of the shade is lined with uh, mylar, which is actually what creates the room darkening effect on the shades. Um, and the back of the shade is white, so the back, the street side or the outside part of the shade will, will be white for color uniformity. And then, of course, the colored part of the shade faces in. You have your color coordinating head and bottom rails, which are made out of heavy duty aluminum, and your heavy duty cord lock, which is built to last for many, many years. Okay? So that's your new 3 8 inch blackout shade. Now, once you have the shade unraveled and unpacked, I'd put it aside for just a moment and grab your mounting brackets. Now the mounting brackets also come prepackaged with your shade along with the mounting screws and these brackets are universal. Universal meaning that they can be used for an inside mount or an outside mount. These automatically come with your shade. There's no need to order them. We're automatically going to include this with every shade that you purchase. Okay. So once you have the brackets um, we're going to mount these brackets inside mount, so we're going to mount this particular shade inside the window frame because we have enough room to do that. So locate your screws, and of course the screw gun will always make it a little bit easier for the installation. If you don't have a screw gun, you can still put these in by hand. Take the mounting bracket, place it inside the window frame with the Phillips head screw facing down toward the floor and the little pointy portion of the bracket facing toward you. Okay, And once you have that bracket in place, just take the screw and drive it right through the center of the bracket into the window frame. Okay, and That's all there is to it. You have your first bracket mounted. Take your second bracket and of course depending upon the width of the shade you may have more brackets than two but this particular shade has two. We'll just send the screw right through the center and mount that bracket. Okay. Now we have our brackets mounted forward. If your window frame is deeper and you like the shade mounted a little bit further or recessed into the window you can do that also but I've chosen to mount this shade flush with the front of the window. Okay, so once your brackets are mounted, grab your shade and release the shade a few inches. Just let it down a couple of inches like that. And the reason we do that is we don't want any of the fabric in the rear part of the shade getting caught in the brackets. Okay, that'll eliminate any pinching or puckering when you lift and lower your shade. All right, now here's the important part. We want to raise that shade so that the head rail, which is the top rail, has a little groove right in the front, and we want that groove to fit right on the pointy part of this bracket right here. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to fit the pointy part of the bracket into the groove on each side. And once we have that, we're going to just hold it in place and take a look at it and make sure that the shade is even on each side. We want an even amount of space on the left and the right before we actually finish, finish mount the shade. Okay, this one seems to be pretty even. So I'm going to pop the bracket with the butt of my hand and that should hold the shade just enough Okay, so that before we give it the final finishing touch, okay, which would be with a Phillips head screwdriver. So we're going to ask that you have a Phillips head screwdriver ready upon the installation and grab the shade and just look up underneath. All right, you'll see those two Phillips head screws again. And um, what we'd like to do is have you tighten those screws good and tight, and that's going to secure the rail in place so it doesn't fall out. Okay, and we're going to do that on both brackets. Make that screw nice and tight, and then once it's tight, you can release the shade and bring it back down. Okay, and guess what? Once you've tightened those screws, you're done. Your shade is installed. Okay, that was easy. Um, when you, if you want to operate the shade, you pull on the cord. We lock to the outside, that'll lock the shade in place. Always unlocks toward the inside of the shade. Okay. So we've completed an inside mount, 
Uh, one other thing that comes with the shade in the Mapti hardware is the little cord cleat. You'll see that we always include a little cord cleat. And that cleat can be mounted either to the window casing or just to the outside of the casing. Really up to you where you'd like that to be. Now the whole reason for that is that when you pull your shade up, you'll see the string gets longer, okay? So what do we do with all this excess cord? Well, we take this cord and we just hang it up on the cord cleat, just like that. That'll keep it away from young children so they don't hurt themselves, pets, etc., etc. Okay? And that's the whole idea for the cord cleat. So really important that you mount that just to keep the string away from your young kids. All right, once that's done, you can enjoy your new shade. Now, yes, there is another way we could mount these shades. We could have chosen to mount the shades on the outside of the window frame. All right, so rather than going inside the frame, we decided to mount it on the outside of the window frame. If that's the case, all right, we'll take our mounting brackets again, and we have two choices. We can either mount the shade right to the window molding, okay, in which case we take that same mounting bracket, and we're going to attach it directly to the molding. And yes, we're using Velcro today to just speed things up a little bit, but what you'll have to do is drill two screws through the two holes and directly into the window molding, and that'll secure the bracket. All right, that's the one way to mount the outside mount. Now the other way would be if we decided to mount it up above the molding because you didn't want to go into your molding. All right, if you choose that method, then we recommend that you order a spacer block. And the spacer block is going to space the bracket far enough away so that when you operate your shade, it doesn't rub on the molding. And this is a no charge option that you can choose at checkout when you've selected the outside mount option. Okay, and we'll, we'll place these in the order for you. Now, if you just choose to mount it with the spacer block, we're going to take that same mounting bracket and the block, and we're going to put that just up above the window frame like that. Okay, and then again, we're going to put two screws through the two holes to hold that bracket in place. Okay, once your brackets are in place, it's very similar. You'll take that headrail just like we did, and we'll fit the very front part of that bracket into the front lip and just push it back into the brackets. Once the rail is into the brackets, you'll secure it by tightening the Phillips head screw, and that's all there is to it. You're finished. Okay, so pretty easy. I'm Mike from BlindsOnline.com, and if you have any additional questions on how to mount your shades, feel free to call anytime. Thanks for watching.